In the Kitchen. We have another great segment with Corey Schreiber for our next In the Kitchen segment. He has a taste of summer to share with us. One of my favorite salads, the Caprese salad. Ashley Caprese. says how good this What, I said Isn't it wrong? It Caprese? And where I come Caprese. from is Caprese. What do you say? I don't know. Let's find well, out. Well, how do you say it? Caprese. How do you say it? Caprese. Well, now I'll say it like that. Caprese. <laughs> I don't want to be different. Today, we are doing a little bit of a spin on a classic Italian salad, Corey. Yeah, the caprese salad. You see it on menus everywhere. If you look it up, many, many websites have it. Such but a good. It's a great. So the tomatoes are a little slow this year. They're coming around. If you get to the farmer's market, get there early, because they tend to be running out. We've got a couple more weeks to go, but they're out there. So small reds, Oregon prides, uh, then the heirloom tomatoes will show up. You can use yellow, you can use green, any color you yep. want. Perfectly fine. So what do we got today? What we got today, we have the mozzarella. Sometimes you use burrata, but a little twist on this is to take the basil and turn it into an oil, actually. Okay. But so before we do that, I want you, because your cooking skills are just <laughs> getting, I'm getting so better good. With, your, getting with your feedback. <laughs> is to cut some of those little tomatoes. Okay. And these are from uh, Spring Hill Farm. And we're just and quartering. We're just gonna quarter those, and we're gonna put them into the bowl, and then we're gonna make the basil oil, and then toss the basil oil over the tomatoes, and then eventually spoon that basil over the top. Basil oil. Okay, yeah, so, so I'm gonna throw the these in here. Yep. So we've got our tomato base there. Yep. Now what do we do to make this oil? And now we just use any, any food process will work take the top off, there's a little bit of olive oil in here, but in order to preserve the color, you use a little bit of lemon juice. I know some chefs who actually take a little vitamin C pill and oh. put that into the blend too. Keeps it, it fresh. Gives a little bit of acidity, so you notice I'm not using any vinegar, I'm just using a little bit of oil. Okay. And then that basil just goes straight, yep, just goes straight into the oil. I'm gonna press it down a little bit. What a neat concept, I never would have thought of this. So it's we're gonna blend this. And it's such a brilliant color, a little bit of salt in there. Okay. And then we're going to blend this for how long? We're going to go for about a minute in the blender until you get that nice bright green color. And then we'll taste it and then we'll just toss it over the tomatoes. Okay, let's blend. Okay, Corey, we have blended this for about a minute now. Yes. Take this, is, this off. It's a bright green color. If you Ooh, like yeah, if you is. like other herbs that can be put in there, a little parsley, a little tarragon, but we're really sticking with the classic flavorings of the caprese salad. Wow, it's so bright. The Italians take great uh, pride with this dish because it's the same color as the Italian flag. You have the white and the yeah. red, and now you have the beautiful green. Oh, and it smells so fresh. Yes, and so it is best to do it the day of, and just go ahead and pour it right over those. Really I would, I would pour about half that amount over this. Just half, okay. So we're just making a little small salad, and then give it a little uh, crank on that pepper mill there, okay. and a little bit of salt, and then go ahead and uh, kind of toss it. So colorful, I yes, love it. it is. Some people okay. might think that that's just a culinary crime to a cover the uh, red tomatoes with the green, but the flavor factor over the... And then just stir this yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and stir it up. Okay. And I'll pull this a little bit closer. Then you, we don't want to oh. completely cover mm -hmm. the smell oh, Yeah, okay. the lemon, the basil, yeah. all of it. It's just great. So it's almost like making a basil vinaigrette and putting it over the top. And I would just like coat part of the lovely uh, mozzarella. That's fresh mozzarella. Wow, I love all the colors. That green really makes it nice and festive and summery. I can see why the salad has been around as long as it has. Okay. So, a little bite of the tomato. Then again, you can do sliced tomatoes as you see traditionally, but it's the basil oil that's really the key here. So to completely coat it, you get everything in one bite. How did I do? Mmm. Mmm. A, a for effort at least, right? <laughs> and Italian blood is showing. Nice job. Yeah, that's it. Um, it's very subtle, but choose your tomatoes carefully. Basil, there's lots of it in the market right now. And then, of course, the, you know, the mozzarella or the, uh, the soft white cheese. Wonderful. Great. The, the caprese was easy. Yeah, as you see, said. say it like that. Yeah. Capri, how do you say it? Caprese. I don't know. She says caprese. I'm not Italian. I I'm say caprese. It wrong, I'm sure. It's super. I like but the it was look, delicious. by the way, with was... you with the apron. That's thank a nice you. look for you. Thank you. The only time I ever wear one. <laughs> but Corey, right. thank you for that.